Hey, you fellow YouTubers and flat earthers. You know, so often the word flat earth is, has been mentioned against you, uh, and, and um, that, that brings me to the point: could we figure out when uh, when we can call somebody mentally retarded? You know? So, so let's go in search of intelligence on Earth. Um, are you going to join me? Well, uh, okay, we, we know this, uh, the, the, the Gleason's map, but, but did you know that retard was not used to refer to mentally disabled people only until 18... Uh, 1985 and it was now uh, basically widely accepted to refer to people who are mentally disabled as mentally retarded or as a retard. I believe later uh, President Obama um, uh, basically forbid to do that and, and gave uh, different names to it. So the question I have to all the uh, flat earthers in our community, don't you sometimes feel that globers are retarded as if anything that you say try to explain them why the earth is flat doesn't land in their head let's let's do an example so here you could wonder uh, who is the intellectually disabled person and there are three persons that say they see a, um, a yellow square and then there is one who says, I see a red circle. It feels like you look at the sea and you say, see, it is flat, it's straight. And then somebody comes and says, it's a ball. You know the feeling? That, that must be the feeling you have, uh, uh, being a flat earther and dedicated to the cause, of course. So... I think this is not yet proof of a retard. And you can say, why, what, sorry? Because the guy says, I see a red circle, but you have, and, and you see a yellow square, but you have not identified what that guy understands as the color red or as a circle. And without doing that, you can't call him a retard yet. No, maybe somebody, or it's a part of his language, that the, the thing happens to be called a red circle, what we are looking at. So, so we have to check certain things first. So we first say, okay, is this a circle? And if everybody says yes, then at least we agree what a circle looks like, don't we? So we can't have a, an issue there anymore. And we can then take another shape and color it and at one point say okay is this red or yeah and if everybody agrees that is red then of course the guy cannot say it's a red circle when we look at that can he we, we have identified what is a circle what is the color red and when he now still continues to say this is a red circle and we all see a yellow square then we can say the guy probably is really mentally disabled or a retard. So, do you recognize the feeling? You know, all, all you can do at that point is face palm at the stupidity of the, of the person. Especially because we can put an age to it. We, we, we can check, and I've, I've done some research... Uh, because uh, it's so long that I've been at, at school that I, I had no idea anymore at what age do you learn shapes, at what age do you learn to count and add, and at what age do you uh, get basic feeling for math and, and, and can calculate um, uh, circumferences uh, of a square or uh, of a circle. So understanding colors and shapes is basically three to four years. Yeah. So if somebody doesn't understand that, he has the brain of a three or four year old. It's, it's obvious and 
for a grown-up, you can pretty much say that is that is retarded. So, if we now do the example with math, then we have the simple equation 3 plus 5 equals, and everybody will say 8. And if somebody says 35, then we know the guy has a serious problem. He, apparently, he can't add numbers, and he's basically putting them together and then form a new number. And let's be honest, um, knowing that 3 plus 5 is 8 is something we all could do when we were 4, 5, or 6 years old. And, okay, sorry, Kitten, you want to have a more difficult uh, <laughs> uh, example. Okay, okay. Let's, let's have a look at the square. The square has um, a side of 3 meters and a side of 4 meters. And then the question is, what is its peripheral size? And, yeah, it's 14, people will say. And if the then is one guy who says, well, uh, no, you do 4 times 3 for the peripheral, and you get 12. Then we all know, again, that he doesn't understand it. And at what age can children solve this problem? I think it was when you are 10, 9 or 10. Now let's bring it one step further and we look at the circle. So what is the circumference of a circle with the diameter of 1? Ah, in this case, all our people know it. Because nobody wants to be called a retard anymore. <laughs> so it is about 3.14. And you can make it a very uh, detailed number. But in general, you learn, and at least when you're 11 or 12, you learn to round off numbers. Because at one point, accuracy has no sense anymore. So if you have a circle with a diameter of 1, you're... Uh, circumference is 3.14 meters. And children solve this at what age? Well, I checked that in the United States, also in Europe, it is around uh, 12, 13 years uh, in, in, uh, at least. So, some already uh, get it when uh, learn it when they're 11. But this is the age that you understand it. And if we now separate the diameter into a radius, eh, and we know that the radius is twice the diameter, then if I ask you what is the circumference of a circle with r is 1, then children of 12, 13 years will say, well, there is 6.28. And maybe they need a calculator to do so, but they are able to say that. They understand. And they can calculate and it is an absolute solid calculation. So, we can all agree um, that if somebody doesn't understand a simple thing like calculating from a radius to the circumference of a circle, then his brain has not developed beyond 12 or 13 years. And we can call that a retard. So, so, shall we teach a retard a lesson? Huh? Globers, probably. Hmm? As a flat earther, you will think globers are the retards. So, we now know, and we have identified that any child knows how to use pi and can calculate the circumference of a circle. And it is eh, 2 times pi times the radius, or 2 times the radius times pi. And it's basically as solid as 1 plus 1 is 2. So, if we now put this in our Gleason's map, and I've taken the equator as the green circle, and the red arrow represents the radius. So, if we now do the math for 12-year-olds, then we can see that um, 2 times pi times the radius of 3.3, uh, uh, or 6, sorry, 6,371 kilometers gives us an equator of 40,000 kilometers. And that looks like this. 
and if we need to do it in miles then we know the equator is 25,000 miles therefore if we calculate back using that same logic and formula every 12 year old understands we will get a, a radius of 3,981 miles Circumference is 2 times pi times r, math for 12 year olds, 6,371 kilometers gives us 40,000 kilometers. So, for Globers, we think we have a proof here, yeah? a math proof of a 12 year old, which we as flat earthers all understand. What? Stop. Why? Oh, if that is a fact, and the uh, circumference of the equator is 40,000 kilometers, and therefore the radius 6,371 kilometers, then this bridge is not 22, mile, uh, 22 miles, as claimed by everybody, but it's only 14 miles. So yeah, but come on, why? Well, in miles... The circumference of the equator is 25,000 miles, that means the radius is 3,981 miles. And that basically makes America from the United States, from the Canadian border to the Mexican border, only 880 miles. And we know that is not correct. It must be at least 1,300, almost 1,400 miles. So, yes, if... If that is the case, if this radius is 3,081 miles, then you can already see it's, it's like less than a, a quarter. So that must be 880 miles. And therefore, this bridge is only 14 miles and not 22 miles. <clears throat> so something is wrong here, uh, guys. Sorry, uh, we, we want to have fun of Globers here, but... Hmm. Um, I'm going to take a break and prepare the next part of this presentation.